This is what a narcissist thinks about when they break up with you. I hope everyone is doing well today. You can watch another one of my videos if you want to. Okay, let's start right away on today's most important problem. If you're working with a narcissist, it's important to cut off all ties of affection as soon as possible. Society needs to be aware that narcissists can make us think about the past, even after they're gone. No matter how hard you try to avoid narcissists and have as little contact with them as possible, it's very unlikely that you'll ever be able to get away from their impact. When a narcissist breaks up with you, no matter what you do or how they do it, they will feel like you still belong to them. When dealing with a narcissist, there are a few things to think about. First, people who were affected can start over without having to carry around the weight of the past. Second, people whose mental and emotional chains are harder to break and take more time and energy. The third group is made up of people who hate narcissists and are very angry at them. Since only the last two types still have important interactions with narcissists, we'll focus on them. Narcissists usually describe themselves by how interested they are in their victims, so it's not surprising that they spend so much time and energy on them. That might help us figure out what's going wrong so we can fix it faster. Case 2 or Case 3 doesn't matter as long as you care about the narcissist. It makes sense to start with the topic of love. Even with all of their flaws, narcissists might be able to win over their fans. A narcissist is ready to scoop or come back at any time. Those in a trauma bond might even be able to help the narcissist find peace. You might be thinking about the good times you had with the narcissist because not everything that went wrong between you two was bad. During their love bombing phase, when there were many and overwhelming public displays of love, we felt very special and loved. It's terrible to think that the person you've imagined living the rest of your life with could actually be your worst nightmare. I told him that the key to getting over a narcissist is to accept what you went through with them. When it becomes clear that they are not who they say they are, the first step to getting rid of trauma bonds is to realize that you have a problem. Having a trauma connection means that we still care about the narcissist even though we know how toxic they are. Writing down or keeping a record of all the bad things the narcissist has done or said to you and how those things made you feel will help you avoid the trap of rationalizing or ignoring the narcissist's harmful behavior. If reading your journal writings makes you feel better when you miss the narcissist, do it. Grief, anger and bitterness are all normal human reactions and it can be helpful to talk to a counselor about them. This could bring some much needed comfort and closure. It's important to keep a regular routine but you should also make time for the people and things that give your life meaning. This plan can help you get your self-respect back and put some emotional space between you and the narcissist. A great way to boost confidence and happiness is to keep a book in which you only write positive things about yourself. Second, we'll talk about how anger and resentment make us feel. When we hold a grudge against a narcissist, we hurt ourselves more than they do. If you are always on edge waiting for the narcissist to do something, it can be bad for your mental health. Stress and negative energy can be very bad for the mental and immune systems if they happen every day. It makes you feel sick on the inside and outside. It's strange that the narcissist makes us feel so much like we love them. Both love and hate are strong feelings that can change how a person acts and how they see the world. After using up all of our time, energy and kindness, the narcissist doesn't need us anymore. Because of this, they will do anything to take control of your thoughts and body for their own purposes. Our goal should be to get far enough away from them emotionally that we know they are there, but no longer care about them in any way. When things from the past are still important, 
The only way to move on is to stop thinking about them. We're no longer interested in them because we see and talk to them so often. By denying that they even exist, people are forced to face the harsh truth that they can't hide their ideas, actions, or even the fact that they exist. Keep in mind that making and keeping eye contact with a narcissist might be tiring. Remember that you can get away from a narcissist if you stop caring about them. A big problem is that most people aren't interested. If you've read this far, I really appreciate it. In the videos I make in the future, I'll try harder to give answers that are clear and helpful. I'd like to hear your thoughts and feedback on the subject in the space given. Thank you again for paying attention to this.